While all bones undergo bone widening, only certain bones, primarily those of the appendages, undergo interstitial lengthening. The process of bone lengthening takes place at the epiphyseal plate. The epiphyseal plate consists of four distinct zones. The zone of resting cartilage consists of hyaline cartilage and is anchored to the epiphysis. The zone of proliferating cartilage organizes a supply of highly mitotic chondrocytes. As these cells divide and increase in number, the resting cartilage is pushed outward, helping to lengthen the diaphysis. In the zone of hypertrophic cartilage, chondrocytes mature and enlarge. This maturation also helps to expand lacunae and lengthen the diaphysis. The thin zone of calcified cartilage is only a few cells thick and consists of older and dying chondrocytes. The cartilage matrix near these cells has calcified. Osteoclasts break down the calcified cartilage, paving the way for osteoblasts from the diaphysis to deposit new bony matrix. Proliferation of chondrocytes increases cell number. The proliferation results in moving the epiphysis away from the diaphysis. This increases the length of the bone. The larger amount of dying cartilage tissue is replaced with bone matrix, solidifying the resulting elongation. This process of bone elongation continues until the epiphyseal plate closes, when cartilage cells in the plate stop proliferating. Bone replaces the cartilage, leaving an epiphyseal line. When this happens, adult stature is achieved. Bone thickness can only increase via appositional growth at the inner layer of the periosteum. The periosteum is a tough sheath of connective tissue that contains osteoblasts. Growth in diameter occurs between the periosteum and outer circumferential lamellae. At the bone surfaces, osteogenic cells in the periosteum differentiate into osteoblasts. Osteoblasts secrete matrix. Bony areas directly around a periosteal blood vessel increase, forming a groove. The ridges of the groove fold together and fuse. The blood vessel is now in a tunnel. This becomes the central canal of an osteon. Notice that it is surrounded by the endosteum, which contains osteogenic cells. Osteoblasts continue to secrete matrix, forming lamellae. Osteogenic cells in the endosteum continue the process, building new lamellae toward the blood vessel in the center. A new osteon forms. As new osteons and outer circumferential lamellae are formed, the compact bone slowly grows outward in diameter. While deposition occurs at the outer surface of compact bone, osteoclasts degrade bone on the inner surface. As bone grows in diameter, its medullary cavity enlarges.